It's literally a way for us to represent all this web data in a way that you and I can make more sense of it by putting it into the real world. Data like parking. So tomorrow I'm coming back here. Uh, today I paid $26 for parking. Steve yelled at me about that. So I said, how can I uh, save some money tomorrow? So now I can go to our, our map application here, Parking Finder. I can drill in, see either Staples Center. I can go ahead and say, I'm going to be here tomorrow at 7 a.m. Show me cheaper places to park. 25 bucks, too much. Ah, $4, right there. And again, using partner data and integrating it into the map experience where data lives, I can actually make a decision to park there tomorrow instead of where I park today for $25. What, yes, uh, you can clap. That's a good one. I like that one a lot. Or it could be things like 5 million photos that people have taken across the world and that we have then re-stitched together into 3D panoramas that can let you get in all the way from the satellite view up in space all the way down into, say, I don't know, the American Landscapes Exhibition inside the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So now I can literally go here and go check out. I can walk inside the Metro Museum of Art and literally go all the way from space over to a brushstroke and a painting all the way in. Look at this beautiful painting, and there she is. So literally taking this data from all over the place and reassociating it in a very interesting way. So that's it. Those are a few things I wanted to show you, but you can see that at Big Word and at Microsoft, we're thinking about search differently. It's not just index and retrieval anymore. It's about connecting people to other people. It's about connecting information to places. It's about connecting people to action. It's really about getting you and moving the metaphor away from simply searching and finding to be more of a searching and being done. Thanks a lot.